Painting with a palette knife is a much more physical process, and some people would liken it more to sculpting rather than drawing. You can add paint and you can take paint away. You can scrape the paint very, very thin, or you can apply it with a rich impasto. It does make more sense to really use the paint quite thinly first of all, to establish the drawing and then begin to build up the areas of tone and colour. It's often advisable to use a flat palette so you can scrape off the paint quite easily and get that onto the edge of your palette knife. Knives come in a variety of shapes and sizes and I generally use uh, ones that are cranked which means that you don't get knuckles dragging into your paint. When the painting becomes very, very physical, it can be quite difficult to manipulate the surface. And that's where it's really, really advantageous to scrape the paint back to remove some of the residue of paint and give you a more clear surface to work with. Here we can see that happening. One's always left with a ghost of what you've already painted, so it's quite easy, therefore, to manipulate the colour further and make more kind of sensible changes to the image. Obviously, when one's working with a palette knife, it's not a material that likens itself to high detail. So don't try to aim for that. Instead, work very, very broadly using that squinting technique of seeing the large areas of mass, and colour and form and trying to execute that. It is also really, really important that you enjoy the process. Palette knife with uh, oil paint can be very, very exciting. Palette knife with acrylic can be a bit more problematic because obviously the paint dries very, very quickly and you can be left with a lot of paint on the surface which is quite difficult to manipulate. In those instances, you can actually attack your painting with a sander and knock back the surface of the work and build up again. It's important to keep the marks with a degree of authority, I think. So that deft touch that we've talked about before, I think is still quite a key component to most painting have an assurity to the mark that you've made, being definite about where that tone is, where that colour is, and what direction the mark should go into. Like we said before at the beginning, this is very much like sculpting a head almost in clay with the paint.